with WCW coming off their biggest mainstream coverage in history over the last month, and WWF following fully loaded the night before, July 27 set an all-time record combined audience in the Monday competition. WCW coming from the Alamo Dome in San Antonio in front of over 20,000 people, opened with Scott Hall out with the NWO challenging the Wolf Pack for Road Wild. Hall said that the black and white is taking over all the gold with him and Giant winning the tag belts, and Bret Hart taking the US title. Brian Adams who was on a tour in Japan, said that he came back to prove Goldberg was a fluke, booking a Goldberg-Adams match for the title tonight, promising to bring back the belt to Hollywood. WCW hyped a big segment for later in the show with Goldberg's first ever interview with Mean Gene promoted as the first time Goldberg will talk. After Bischoff and Hogan called out Jay Leno last week, including bringing back the nightcap segment, Leno responded back on The Tonight Show during the week, doing his comedy routine on Hogan and Bischoff, a day later bringing out an Hogan imposter on the show. Bischoff came out for another NWO nightcap mocking Leno, with Hogan as a guest telling him that he will come on The Tonight Show and kick him off his own stage giving him a final warning and chance to back out and not show up at Sturgis for Road Wild. Setting up a big crossover angle for The Tonight Show. The NWO nightcap peaked the first hour with a 5 rating. The NWO coming out with Dusty, returned to open the second hour with Dusty saying that he should take back his spot on commentary, with Hall saying that since Nash won't face him he's challenging Sting, with Dallas Page also challenging Hogan a few minutes earlier. Bret Hart subtly started the build to the first Hart vs Sting match, claiming he's not on the NWO side. With Goldberg's promo set to be next, Goldberg's locker room was shown with graffiti of NWO members on the walls. In addition to that WCW heavily promoted the replay of the Bash at the Beach main event tag match to air on the show tonight. Undertaker opened Raw a day after winning the tag belts with Austin from Kane and Mankind demanding an apology from Austin after giving Kane a tombstone to win the match. Vince came out saying that it still doesn't give the proof for him not teaming with Kane, saying how it was suspicious that he beat Kane with one tombstone when it took three at WrestleMania. Vince booked Austin and Taker in the main event against the Outlaws for the belts, bringing out Austin who said he will agree to team with Taker, but never asked to be his friend or give him any apology. In perhaps the most talked about fight in the brawl for all, Dr. Death Steve Williams faced Bart Gunn. The rumor was that JR was pushing for Williams to work a pay-per-view match with Steve Austin, but there was never a clear plan for that according to creative heads, and the timeline and programs in the summer and fall of 98 made it impossible for that to headline a big show. Williams a four-time All-American wrestler with strong reputation was one of the heavy favorites to win the tournament. Gunner recalls nobody giving him a chance from the locker room to the office, coming in as a clear underdog despite previously winning shoot tough man competitions. The first round saw Williams taking a close round with a takedown. The second round saw Gunn taking down Williams in a big surprise with Jim Ross, a close friend of Williams almost speechless on commentary. The real shock came in the third and decisive round. Gunn seemed to be fresher on the feet and took Williams down again. At this point Williams suffered knee and hamstring injuries, barely getting back up with Gunn going for the finish, connecting with a left to knock Williams out in a huge surprise for viewers who knew the background and especially backstage. The fight along with a Owen Hart Jason Sensation segment with Shamrock and Severn, gained over a million viewers to bump Raw to a 4.9 rating. The strategy of airing the Hogan and Rodman vs Page and Malone tag match from the bash proved to be a big success. The match, which went in an over 20-minute commercial free block at around 9.45pm into the third hour, gained over 2.5 million viewers to a near-record 6.5 rating, a huge viewership increase of over 50% of the audience making it the joint second-highest rated quarter in Monday Night Wars history along with Savage Hogan on April 20th, trailing only Goldberg Hogan on July 6th with a 
When the match was over WCW took a lengthy commercial break before Goldberg came out for his first interview. Goldberg cut an intense promo on the NWO saying that now it's personal, before telling Adams that he's next. After the bash match the big audience split with Raw gaining huge with around 2 million viewers for Rock defending the IC title in a three-way against two DX members X-Pac and Triple H, coming a day after Rock and Hunter went 30 minutes to a draw and fully loaded. It's becoming more apparent with each show as Rock is gaining big momentum by the week on the way to the top, with the Anaheim crowd popping big for the people's elbow. Ending the match with Rock again coming out with the belt and X-Pac and Hunter turning on each other. Yamaguchi Sun challenged Valvinis to a match next Monday, threatening to chop him up in a lead up to a memorable angle set for next week. With the company also hyping the premiere show of Sunday Night Heat on August 2. Earlier in the show, Chris Jericho and Dean Malenko faced in a match promoted as Malenko's last chance against Jericho as a blow off match to months of a personal program between them. Scott Stainer and Buff Bagwell showing good chemistry in their segments started their run as a team now that Bagwell returned, a run that will go well on to the next year. Sting vs Scott Hall saw Bret Hart again coming to the ring during Sting's match claiming to help him, with Sting attacking him to bring Hollywood members to the ring, Nash ran in to make the save going after Hall. Goldberg beat Brian Adams to retain the title, now taking the streak to 121 wins. One of the big talking points of the fully loaded pay-per-view was Sable and Jacqueline Bikini contest with the memorable handprint body paint. The company then censored the footage, promoting the pay-per-view encore with the Sable reveal as one of the big attractions to order or re-watch the show. Raw hyped the follow-up segment with Jerry Lawler giving a trophy to the winner, with Sable hyping another bikini, targeting a big rating for the reveal segment. McMahon came out to stop it telling her that he made her a star, ending with Sable's reveal. Hogan vs Page closed Night Row with a big brawl with NWO Hollywood and Wolfpack members running in, ending up with Goldberg coming out last to clear the ring, with Giant coming from behind and Chalk slamming Goldberg as the show went off the air, starting the setup to the first Goldberg vs Giant match. Austin and Taker retained the belts with Austin pinning Road Dogg. After the match Austin threw Taker a beer to set differences aside five weeks from their SummerSlam main event. Ending the show with Kane and Mankind attacking both. The Sable reveal segment with Vince along with the Austin Taker vs Outlaws tag match, gained around 900,000 viewers to peak Raw with a 5.95 rating, making it the third highest competitive segment in Raw history. Raw won the overall rating with a 4.8 to a 4.7 but that was because of WCW's unopposed hour. During the head-to-head -head two hours, WCW won with close margin of 4.79 to Raw's 4.78. With the combined audience of 9.6 rating breaking the record set on April 20th, 